Now I'm just going to get a little piece of tape. Nope. Say when you add lashes. It's like a whole new person. Hey guys. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a good eyeshadow pigment with any eyeshadow that you have. So if you're having a problem with eyeshadow and if you're having a problem with the pigment of your eyeshadow and you feel it's not pop enough, then this video is for you. So let's go. Now guys, if you remember when you were in school, they always told you to use a white canvas before painting in order for you to get the color to pop a lot more. So in this way, you're going to create a canvas on your face. I'm not saying put white paint on your face. I'm saying just add a concealer that is a lot lighter than your skin. But for me, concealer works and it works brilliantly. So what I'm going to do is just put concealer on this side so you guys can see the pigment on this side of my face and the pigment on that side of my face now this side is going to be with the concealer and the eyeshadow and this side is just eyeshadow i do have my foundation that i put all over when it, my foundation on my skin i did not do anything else i just put foundation i've used my yardley foundation and now i'm going to dig in with my concealer Now I'm just going to add a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to neaten up the brow area. So once you feel the brow area is neat and it's correct, you're going to want to quit using a brush and then after go in with your finger. You're going to go in with your finger and dab. So you're going to look something like this, but trust the process. Now I'm just going to get a little piece of tape. So now I'm going in with this palette. I'm going to be doing an eye with an ombre from yellow to red. So, first I'm going to get some yellow. So this is what this looks like, so let's go and tackle on this area with the exact same color. I'm just adding a little bit more. If you look, you can already see the color on the side as compared to the side, and yet this side is just two times that I dip my brush into the palette, and this is the third time that I've dipped my brush into the palette. So this is the the fourth time that I've dipped it into the palette. So yeah, 
it looks like there's basically nothing on my eyelid but let's just move on next I'm going to go in with an orange I'm going in with more of an orange I'm just placing it over here Make sure the colors are blended in really well. I'm thinking this is just one touch of the orange. I'm thinking of one more time so I can make it a little bit rich. And I'm gonna go in with the exact same color and put it on the side. Second time going in with the orange. The colors are not even sticking onto the eyelid. It's like starting to get clumpy. Okay fam, I think we just had about enough. I'm tired of this blending things here. Anyway, next I'm going in with a red and I'm just gonna smoke that out. I think one time is enough. Next, we're gonna go in with this eye. Like a few years ago, guys, I think I would actually be content with this kind of look. I would have thought my eyeshadow is popping and there's no better way to bring out my pigment. I think you looking at them I've just proved my point now I'm going in with one of my fluffiest brushes and I'm just gonna blend them all together So what I'm going to do is just go off camera, start on my face, and I'll be back. And out. Much, much, much later. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm just putting on my little unicorn earrings and these are what my eyes look like. So yeah guys, this is what my face looks like and as you can see this side is more pop than this side. Even though I added some lashes, I thought it's just gonna be a little bit more pop or maybe make my face look the same because they say when you add lashes.
it's like a whole new person. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. My main aim of this video was to show you that with a white base, or with a lighter color base than your actual skin tone, you can achieve a whole lot more pigment. Now I think if you are a darker skin tone than me, you are more than welcome to even use a white. Go ahead and use whatever color you want, the lightest color concealer in your cupboard. Go ahead and practice and you will see the difference. Trust me on this. You know, whatever I tell you guys always works. So trust me on this one as well. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I will be back with another amazing video.